here we go, video. First off, got a deadlift and training video coming tomorrow night. Deadlifting, I did deadlift, bench, block deadlift, OHP. Good morning today. Tomorrow I got a bit, I got like a snatch and back workout. So I'm gonna film some of that too because I don't want to put up like a fucking two minute video of just a couple deadlift sets. But jacked up as fuck, triple 240 kilos today. Happy as fuck about it. Especially under the circumstances and this far into the program, under like this much fatigue, I feel good about it. I feel I'm not trying to grind, grind all this bullshit about fuck. I don't grind, kind of. I choose my grind, and it's not a grind because I choose it. All right? I choose, I choose to run the program. I choose to put myself in the positions that are tough, so it's not a fucking grind because I'm doing what I want and I'm doing what I love and I live for this shit. All right, so fucking remember it because I'm jacked up about it. But. Here we go. This is the topic of the video. And it's kind of brought on by this program. This program's been making me think a lot in my mind. It's to kind of test your mental toughness or kind of like reinforces your mental toughness. And kind of reiterates like how tough mentally or how switched on mentally or how much of a jacked up sick cunt, hashtag sick cunt mental person you have to be to, to break past plateaus in the gym. One, in terms of strength, gains, whatever. You know, muscle strength, gains, whatever. Unless you're a genetic freak, but we don't care about them cunts. Once you've been in the gym for a few years, once you're past a noob, okay? And I've learned that this year, that like, I'm not a, a newbie anymore, you know? I'm not a newbie anymore, and it's fucking, you have to fight, inch, crawl, bash, fucking dog eat dog world for every single fucking bit of progress you make, all right? Every single bit of progress you make. And to do that, and for the people who last a long time in this sport, I'm talking 10, 15, Ben Rice motherfuckers, you know them dudes, they got their, they're switched on in the head, man. They've been doing it for that long, but they're also very switched on in the head, and they've gone through these cycles and cycles and cycles of, you know, hard bits, tight bits, all this bullshit, right? But what I'm learning is, and this is a good phrase to pick up, and you should pick it up, is it is what it is, all right? Hashtag it is what it is. Shout out to all the cunts who say, all the cunts I know who say it is what it is, because it's the best phrase known to mankind. It's the phrase of 2014. I'm telling you it's going to take your life to the next level once you use it, all right? Because it is what it is. It is what it is, is simply accepting your, your position at a given time. Accepting your situation at a given time. So you go into a workout, you miss a deadlift set, you miss your reps, alright? I'm not saying that's nothing to be upset about, but what, do you, what would you rather do? Be cut, be some bitch, be some fucking upset motherfucker for the rest of the workout. We've all done it and like hated the workouts, thought it was all, all chow gains, all this shit. Or go to your... And just, get upset about it, you know, all my gains gone down the drain, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no internet, no YouTube, all this bullshit. Or would you rather just go, it is what it is, I can't do anything about it. It is what it is simply means you've accepted what's happened. You've just accepted what's happened and you know you can't do anything about it. You know you can't do anything about it now. It's in the past, all right? We live in the present. Don't be a cunt that lives in the past, all right? The Power of Now, shout out to that book. That's a good book. Read The Power of Now if you haven't. But... You have to be living in the present, all right? So we can't dwell on the things that have happened in the past, all right? And we also, it's also somewhat, you can't really think about the future that much to where you get lost in the present moment. You can't always be thinking, you've got to be living in the present. You can keep your goals and shit, in, like, you know, in perspective, but you've got to be living in the present. You've got to be living in the present. And it is what it is, is a good way of keeping yourself in check and living in the present. Because it is what it is, is simply disregarding the past as something that's happened and something you can't do about it. Your girlfriend cheats on you, the internet goes down, no lease around your pornos, you miss a set at the gym, you know what I mean? You get fired from work, all this bullshit, you get kicked out of home, you have a fight with your mum. It is what it is, you can't do anything about it. All you can think of is what can I do right fucking now? What can I do now, not tomorrow, not in two weeks, what can I do now, with now, in the present moment, that's going to make me better at what I want to achieve in the future? Okay, in the future with my long-term goals, that list, that four-point list, whatever you want to achieve in your goals, your life, whatever, right? So remember that next time you're stressing about something that's happened, all right? Always use it. You break your leg, all this bullshit, anything, 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 anything. You have a shit time at the gym, anything. You just tell yourself it is what it is, all right? You get fat as fuck. You got fat as fuck. Accept it. It is what it is. Accept it. Just accept it. You can't do anything about it. Like, for example, you get fat as fuck, you blow the fuck out. It is what it is. You've accepted it right there. Boom, straight away. I'm not going to stress about it. That's just saying I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going, oh, I wish I to get fat. It is what it is. I'm fat. All right? Now, now I'd be thinking to myself, in this present moment, am I going to die? Or am I going to still get fat? 
And within that present moment, that one fucking, that one minute I make the decision, you want to be a clear-cut motherfucker making decisions like that, all right? You don't want to be sitting on them for like fucking 10 days just stressing about it. Boom. Am I going to go into a deficit that day or am I going to keep gaining, all right? That's what I'm talking about. Live in the fucking present. Live in the present, all right? Uh, I go to the gym, I miss a set. Boom. It is what it is. It is what it is. I missed the set. Now, what can I do to have a productive workout? Good topic. Good topic. Good, good fucking little hashtag. It is what it is. Good little phrase to have. And just use it. 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 And it's going to take you to the next level. Because it's going to teach you that stuff that's happened is... It's done. It's dusted. It's done. It's going to teach you that the present moment is the most powerful moment you live in. It's the most powerful and productive moment you live in is the present. It's not what's happened. It's not the future. And sometimes lose sight of that. They get they get sight they get lose sight of the fact that today is April the fuck, April second. They lose sight of that. They lose sight because they see their long. They either dwell on something that's happened in the past, or they're too fixed on the long term goal. You can be fixed on the long term goal, but there's a thousand there's a thousand steps you need to take to get there, and you need to be thinking of what can I do now to be able to do it. That's a powerful word. Now I know I sound like. A, the power of now, just read the book, it's a fucking good book. It is what it is, start using that phrase. But also, another point I picked up that I'm, I'm starting to think about in running this program is that once you realize that training is hard, okay? Once you realize that training is very, very, very hard and there's just, it's just a long journey and it's tough and it's gonna make you sad, it's gonna make you depressed sometimes, it's gonna make you burnt out sometimes. It's also transfers into life. Once you realize that life's not easy, life's no joke, life's serious, it's dog eat dog world, grandma bash grandma world, Lisa bash Lex steel fucking world, SpongeBob bash Ben 10 world. Once you realize that it, it's cutthroat like that, you're not gonna get cut when something bad happens, okay? That's what I'm saying. Once you realize the gym, it fucking sucks a lot of the time, but it's also good. You're not going to be upset when you feel tired from the gym because you know it's hard. It's hard, man. If you live your life as a sheltered fucking human being, piece of shit, just soft, just soft as fuck, soft, just no fucking work ethic, nothing, no passion, no drive. You think life's very easy, and you live on this, you live on this cliff face up here, on the edge of this cliff face, where you can the bottom's down here, right? You're on the edge of the cliff face, and you think you're on the top, and you think you don't know that there's another level down here of just like shit. Of just shit, just hard shit. You have to gut it out and just get yourself back out. You don't know that. You've never experienced it. So it comes will fall off that edge, come down here, and you know what? Just in like a gym sense, they'll quit because they're like, fuck, it's hard, and I'm not motivated. Because they don't realize that it's not meant to be easy. It's meant to be hard. It's meant to be hard, and it's meant to be hard, but it's also meant to be good. They don't realize, okay? They don't realize that it can be shit, and it will be shit. So they give up. And this is what happens to people on the other spectrum in life. They don't realize that life's hard and you're gonna experience times where you're depressed, sad, fucking happy, shit, all this bullshit. They don't realize that. So when they crash a bit, I've had this happen to me where I've had like a low point and I didn't realize that life can do that to you and make you fucking feel like that way. And I, when I, and I didn't realize that, you know, this shit happens, I got really cut about it and I was like, man, this is fucked up shit. But then I realized, I clicked in my head like, dude, this is just life, this is just a part of life. Getting put into the gutter and making like feeling like you've been bashed by fifty pseudos, man. It's just part of life. Now it's about getting out of it. Or now it's about getting out of it. And some people let, never learn, never learn how to scoop out of a hole and then they end up noosing it, necking it, jumping off cliffs. It's that serious, man. It's that fucking serious. So don't be like that, man. Don't be like that. Don't live all the time up here to, so when you crash you don't realise that there's a level here. Realise that there's you know, you've been to a bad level in your life, you've been sad but you can be a lot fucking sadder. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Realize that you've been happy, but you can be a lot happier. Do you know what I mean? You can you can take it as high as you want to go and you can take it as low as you want to go. But just as you realize that it's a bumpy fucking road, you're never going to be in trouble. You're never going to be in trouble and if you just accept it is what it is, whatever you want to say, that there's going to be times where you don't want to get out of bed. There's going to be times where you don't want to pick up another bar. There's going to be times where you feel like jumping off a cliff. There's going to be fucking times where you feel like the champ. But... If you just realize that wholeheartedly that you're the champ and you're going to make it through and that this is just a part of life, it's just a continual cycle of up and down, up and down, but constantly getting better as a human being, you're going to be fine. All right, so my food just got done in the microwave. That's my fucking rant. Hashtag it is what it is. Hashtag don't be a sheltered fuck with. Hashtag make gains, all right? Hashtag fuck this grind shit. Fuck this grind shit because I don't grind, cunt. Because I live the life I want to live and it's not a grind. Even when it's hard, I'm not grinding because I'm jacked up. Right? I'm jacked up. 
Hashtag Philex this weekend. Hashtag shout out to Katie. Hashtag shout out to Chris. Hashtag shout out to EHB for letting me do the mic job. Hashtag fucking go there, all right? Fucking go to the go there. Shout out to Nick. Shout out to Ryan. Hashtag go there is in go to Philex. All right. Peace, that's it. Subscribe to the channel. Video of Snatch and Deadlift video coming tomorrow and making myself accountable. Subscribe. Also, also another little topic. I love you cunts. I love every single cunt that watches these videos. I know you might have subscribed because I got shouted out or something from August or something. But I love you for staying on board for the journey. I don't need to have 100,000 subscribers. I don't need to have 200,000 subscribers. I don't need to have a fancy fucking camera. I don't need to have any of this shit. I don't need to have any of that shit. I don't need to have a fancy fucking intro. None of that. Because I know the content I'm putting out is good and I love what I do. If I had one cunt watching, I'd be happy. If I had two cunts watching, I'd have... If I had no cunts watching, I'd still be happy. Or I wouldn't that be happy because I want to be improving someone's life. But that's what I'm talking about. All these motherfuckers out there with 5, 6, 7, 10, 20,000 subscribers, man. Dope intros, all this flashy equipment, all these flashy gear and shit. And they put out fucking nothing. They just put out cunts eating, training, doing bullshit. They don't improve anyone's fucking life, right? So shout out to you for staying on board and picking a good channel to subscribe to, right? Because I'm going to keep them coming. I'm going to keep them coming. Fucking that's it. Get on, get on it, right? Just get on it. Get on the fire lakes. I'll see you there. Peace.